This morning, we're learning about Women Who Rock. That's the latest exhibit at the National Museum of Women in the Arts. It features more than 250 artifacts and performance uh, videos highlighting the many achievements of female musicians. And with some of the sights and sounds of Women Who Rock, uh, our own Woman Who Rocks, Holly Morris, live from <laughs> Northwest. Holly, good morning. <laughs> good morning. You know what, Tony, you would love this exhibit because it's all about the music industry. It has amazing facts and figures. Allison, you would love it because it's all about the dresses and love outfits it. <laughs> that women wore. Like, look at this. This is Brenda Lee's dress. It's a dress she wore on the Ed Sullivan Show back in 1962, a Little Miss Dynamite. But you know what? We heard about this exhibit, but when we started looking into it, we actually found out that there was a bigger picture here, and that's where Linda Harper comes in. She mm -hmm. is the executive director of Cultural Tourism DC. Good morning Good to morning, you. Good morning, Holly. Nice and to man, see you. this is just like a small little bit in a it's big a, celebration going on right now. It's a piece. There are over 40 organizations working with us at Cultural Tourism DC to really celebrate what's going on in the city. I was in LA in January and the mayor stood up and said, we are the arts capital of the United States. And I said, oh wait, I don't think so. Uh, Washington DC is the arts capital of the United States. So it's called Art for All DC. It is. And so museums like the National Museum for Women in the Arts are having these exhibits. But there's also um, different organizations that are kind of like embracing this exhibit and branching off from it. Absolutely. There's really good connectivity all across. And it's also about just the individual artists who are here. Uh, we're, we're really trying to put more art in more places and more parts of the city so that people really get engaged with the art community here. It's a big community. I mean, we're 230 members, and that's just a piece of what goes on in the arts community here. So we have our own little Art for D All DC going on right here in the museum because we have this amazing exhibit around us. But we also have Molly Coleman with Raw. Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, so tell me about Raw and how you're a part of all this. Well, Raw is a national arts organization. We're actually based out of Los Angeles, but we're in 54 cities right now and in Australia. And what we do is we create a platform for artists to showcase their work in all facets of uh, art, from performance art to music to visual arts. Across the board, we try to feature every single artist in each local city. So tell me a little bit about the band we're hearing. This is Brave Noise, and they're actually doing a piece by Janis Joplin right now. Uh, they're actually a Raw Artist alum. They showcased with us in May, and uh, they are actually based out of D.C. And, and in the Baltimore area. And so I think it's a little funny that we're in an exhibit called Women Who Rock, and we have all male artists yeah. playing. <laughs> but they are playing in Janis Joplin. So yes. Yeah. Okay, so we'll give them that. Yes. So what's the best way to find out, like, where these different performances are going on? Well, we actually, you can actually just go to our website, rawartists.org, and uh, you can select the city where you're located, and you can find us there. And here, obviously, Washington, D.C., and uh, you can find each and every showcase every month. That's super fun. Well, as they're playing, we also have some other artists amongst us. Yay! Here they are. Little did you know. <laughs> the art monkeys are here. Okay, so tell me your name. John. John, John Gaska. Mary Gallagher Staff. Mm -hmm. Really, it's just Art Monkey 1 and 2. Yes, okay, theartmonkeys.com. So, okay, so tell me about Art Monkeys and how you fit into this picture. Well, we are, we're collaborative artists, and our artistic mission is to make art accessible, because we believe that art is for everybody, mm -hmm. and also to explore its potential for social change. So we create art exhibits and different um, installations that incorporate our artwork and the community and to make our place is better and today we were actually we were actually given a day's notice yeah. about this exhibition and they were like can you create something that goes with what's right. being exhibited at the National Museum. So we did this in one day. So there's we the picture this. of the Supremes. There's the picture Correct. of the Supremes. And which one of you did the Supremes? We did them we, together. You did them together. 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 Yes. So, so how does that work? Like one, you go one at a time or? At um, for the most part a lot, usually we will both be on the same canvas at the same time right. and just sort of work around each other. Yeah, and we have videos so people can actually see the whole yeah. process happening on our website and our channel and stuff. Yeah. And your art pops up where around town? Um, uh, we were just at Touchstone. Right. We had solo shows there. And We've done some of the Raw DC um, at, events. At, and yeah. um, and just check out like your website, like you said, and then, yes, and then we'll the know where we are. I want to come to your all studio sometime. I think you, 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 you would have it. so much We fun. would have a fun morning at the so Art Monkey Studio. Definitely. Okay. Okay, you'll have a lot of fun if you take check out anything that's going on for Art for All DC. MyFoxDC.com is our website. We have a link to theirs. And then, of course, all the different respective websites are on there at the same time. Since we 
are here at the National Museum for Women in the Arts, and we are talking about women who rock. We're going to talk all about that with the chief curator coming up in our 8 o'clock hour. Back to you. A lot of energy behind I love it. it. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Holly. you. All right, it's very common.